All right, guys, so let's talk about Shooterborn in Heaven. We've got some off-the-spawn 100-yard kills, actually 100 and 150-yard kills that you can utilize in both Shoreline as well as in Streets. And then we'll show you some other clips of being in plain sight, basically killing players from 100-plus meters away in woods. Pretty crazy. So hopefully you guys enjoy. We'll see you guys in Raid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now this is another spawn I utilize a lot. It's been used wow, against me. You keep getting these spawns. You're able to basically hit the people who spawn under power lines. What this does is it guarantees you 100 yard kill because yeah. the players that are running up this way, even with max strength, will have to pause momentarily. Now endurance is max, it'll be a little different. We're clearing right real quick. Now we're going to sit right here. This rock actually covers us to the right. So if someone's counter sniping, it's going to be harder for them to see you. Notice we just wait by our time. Usually it takes a few minutes. Some people move rather slow. Nice! But there you go. Easy shooter born. Now, this is a very easy way to get shooter borns. There's two spawns on the other side of this theater, as well as over here. So if you spawn in any of these areas, you can basically counter snipe off the spawn. This guy jumps out of the window to the left. Easy. Yes! Shoot him hard! So right here, we kind of got a aim This is a about a 200-yard headshot somebody? for most Touch people that face. are inside the chalet. You want to aim at their chin, I think. But these rocks here on this hill give you so much cover and early warning to players running through. Now, we were able to hear this guy is shooting down here to our left. Always assume there's going to be more than one. There's also two or three spawns down this way as well. Oh, is that two shooter horns? So in this one here, we actually miss free shooter born so what we end up doing because we're not able to get this headshot again is we move to see if the vehicle extracts up and by doing so we're gonna set up far enough away that maybe we can get lucky and get that lovely shooter born now one trick that you can use here is that if you hit OO, the extracts will light up. And if it's green, that means you have roughly around 40 to 60 seconds to kill someone who's extracting from this location. As you can see here, it's green. These guys have activated it, so they're going to try to get out. And we're going to try to get our headshot. I didn't realize that we killed him there. That's why we keep shooting. That sniper shot you heard was the other guy panicking and running into the vehicle extract. No go zone. Kind of cool you get to see the vehicle drive off too. Sorry guys, I'm gonna, I want to try to get the shooter born done so we can just move the fuck on and go to the next map and get it done there too. So, early spawn, if you get the spawn, sometimes you can catch players going through this little land bridge. Very easy kills. All right. And it's always guaranteed to be 100 plus meters at the edge of this bridge. All right, let's pull out the snipper. 
Maybe we can catch some idiots slipping. Brazil to at least 100. And we don't want to shoot anyone in the head until they're past this point here. See that? Rangefinder. So, like, right about there. Why do I do it off the rip? So that if someone comes nearby, I don't have to worry about it till later. Money's easy to make in Tarkov. You know? This is 90k a raid. And if you think about it, I generally make it out with a couple hundred K every raid, right? So as long as I'm surviving, that is right. We hit that off the rip because I don't want to be caught off guard. And honestly, I can't see very well without painkillers on. <laughs> so like painkillers make my screen like with the painkillers up, I can actually see it's not as like, uh, What's the proper word I'm looking for? Uh, blurry. The vision's not as blurred. I can't set up a, a nice little dark, like room darkening. Oh, here we go. There you go. Shooter born heaven complete, boys. We're done. Let's go. See that? Easy as that. Look like Gav, didn't that? That's how you do it. That was a player. He looked like a scav, but that was 100% a player. Now, a lot of people don't really snipe from weird areas, right? We set up care packages on reserve in order to try to bait players. And it works really well, as you guys can see. Now, a lot of people will snipe from the dome, but it's so hard to not get shot from like so many different angles. Sometimes it's worth it to do it, but like, look at how exposed this guy is. He has to look at so many more areas than I have to. Not only that, if you realize you're getting shot at, relocate completely. No! This guy stays here. And lets me kill him. Did it ricochet? There's no way, dude. That ricocheted. And now he's dead. Easy. That door is open for a reason. Someone opened it. Now, we snipe from areas that are not normally exposed. See how we're inside a building? Okay. Kind of off. This is our year. Window. This is how you increase your survivability as well as become unpredictable. Yes! Easy shooter born. Let's go! Now what we're going to do here is we're going to try to bait players to a care package. Since we have a lot of red flares, it's worth removing over to the other side to kind of set up in the bush out of sight, right? We don't want to be in a predictable area. Unfortunately, we are, so don't use the spot. And after killing this guy from a different area, we end up finding out that it wouldn't have even been a 100 yard headshot from where we were going to shoot from here to the care package. We're just trying to see if we can get the ability to aim up from where we're laying. Sometimes it takes trying to be creative to get these kills. So now we're looking to see where the care package is dropping. And we're actually receiving shots.
I wouldn't have even Sorry, known dude. this guy was here. <laughs> if that guy didn't shoot at me. We would have been... Shot in the back of the head, actually, most likely. Can't get a visual. So we're going to move to a more dangerous spot. Um, fuck. Exposing ourselves. We're not really sure of the capabilities of the player. So what we're trying to do is just move around, scan the area. These little structures actually block our view from the care package. We're assuming we got shot at from above. This player is pretty ballsy, by the way. Be eluding that care package in the open after just shooting at someone. Kind of nutty. I wouldn't have figured he would have pushed down right away. There's the care package, and he's right on top of it. Ballsy. Now, unfortunately, I lost the footage for this, but we utilized a grenade. Wish we would have dropped him higher up to bait this guy. To check the so center. Being right there is not bad. Of the lumber. But it gives yard. his buddy room to like rotate if if he has a buddy. Now I don't necessarily know yet. We're in plain sight. We're just scanning. Now these guys we end up shooting early on. And it actually ricochets off his helmet. Now, most people would relocate, but these guys don't. Now, there's actually two up there. This is a long process. We actually got That's our bad. shooter part seven done here, which is nice. Most players have no well, idea where to look. That could have been it. That could have been our year when it comes to shooter borns. They look in the most obvious places and not in plain sight, which is this giant bush. We have a lot of opportunities for 100 yard plus kills. Now as time passes by, these guys are gonna still sit on top of this mountain and eventually give us our final shooter born on woods. Now, a lot of what we're doing here is we're looking for silhouettes. And if we're able to find these silhouettes, generally we'll be able to get the first shot on. All the scabs are starting to spawn in. This is about 10 minutes into raid. The throwing of nades also attracts people to these positions that we're able to kill them from like the mountaintop or the first guy that you didn't see us kill that's opening up free kills because a lot of players are playing the game not tactically they're playing it to pvp and they're thirsting these kills which is why it's easy to kill them.
So after wasting our time missing the scav, we're going to rescan the mountaintop up above. A lot of these places we used to use when we were newer players, but it's just like dome. Sure, it gives you a lot of opportunities to shoot people in the head, but these areas to veteran players are very well known. All right, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. There's just a few kills from our, you know, shooter born in heaven journey. It's most of the stuff. If you guys have been watching me for the last few years, you've seen me utilizing these spots and killing players from a lot of these areas repeatedly. It's, it's nothing new. These are all super easy locations to figure out. Right. Uh, but if you're new to the channel, uh, a lot of these, these kills and these spots and learning how to counter snipe all these areas takes time. You're not going to learn this overnight. We have 7,000 plus hours in the game. Whereas a lot of people are newer players. They, they only have a few hundred, maybe only a few thousand if they're lucky, you know, one to 2000 hours. So a lot of this is just experience and understanding where to look because we've died in these areas or we've killed lots of people in these areas, right? This is just experience. So hopefully my experience helps you grow and uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.